Hello students. Now in this session we are going to study the shear stress distribution for a triangular section. We have a triangular section and we want to find out the shear stress distribution for that triangular section. So suppose this is the triangular section at which we want to find out, uh, we want to draw the shear force diagram for this triangular section from the uh, above and below the neutral axis and its neutral axis will be lying you know neutral axis will be lying at a distance of suppose h is the height of this uh, triangle so at a distance of h by 3 from the base or 2 h by 3 from the apex right so this is the height this is the height of this triangle suppose this is the height given that is capital H capital H is the height of this triangle right and width width is given the base width of the base is given B right width of the base is given and you know that the neutral axis neutral axis will be lying at a distance of h by 3 from the base or 2 h by 3 from the apex right so from here from the apex it is 2 h by 3 2 h by 3 from the apex right and we have to draw the shear stress diagram from the uh, outer fibers both the outer fibers in between right so what is the shear stress diagram so we know the formula formula is same that uh, tau will be equal to f a y bar by i b f a y bar by i b this is our formula but in this case a y bar is variable as it is always variable um, during the uh, derivation it, we have observed that this is variable b in this case if we take a section if we take a section like this if, if i take a small section like this and if i draw the shear stress dis distribution in this section which is at a distance y from the centroid from the neutral axis it is at a distance y in that case in that case this y y bar is variable because the y is its y bar its centroid its small uh, centroid will be lying so, so this small triangle has a centroid which is which will be lying at certain distance suppose suppose this distance this distance of this triangle is x x then this distance small distance this uh, centroid centroid of this small triangle right suppose the centroid of this triangle is g dash it this will be equal to two third of x similar to this this is two third of h so this will be centroid will be two third of x right and the distance between this centroid and this centroid will be 2 h by 3 minus 2 x 2, 2 by 3 x right so this distance this distance uh, this so this will be 2h by 3 minus 2x by 3 from the neutral axis, right? The distance of two centroids, the distance of two centroids, right? This is this is different, this is h. So this is the distance between two centroids, g to g dash. This is 2h by 3 from the top fiber and this is 2 by 3x from the top fiber. So 2 by 3h minus 2 by 3x will give the distance of two centroids, right? So now area of this triangle is varying, this small section is varying and it is varying uh, throughout the section. Y bar is varying, Y bar we have seen that this is Y bar 2H by 3 minus 2X by 3. B is also varying, B is the width of this small triangle because now the width is not constant, right? So this is the width, so, this is the width of uh, this small that triangle, right? This is capital B and small b, right? And we have to find out the shear stress distribution. So now A, Y bar, B, all are variable, right? So what is area? What is area of this small triangle? This area of this small triangle. That will be half multiplied by base multiplied by height. So this is half multiplied by base multiplied by height. Half B and X, right? So this is the area of this triangle. But here, what is happening is, 
b is unknown to us this is a uh, b and x are unknown to us so one we can replace this b from this capital b and capital h how using the similarity in triangles two similar triangles are there one is a bigger triangle and one is a smaller triangle so we can write small b by capital b so from this similar triangles small b by capital b will be equal to small x by capital h so x by h so we can write x will be equal to x will be equal to b by b multiplied by h so this is x so we can replace uh, we can replace b because x we want to keep like this because x is always there so we can put find out b as b a that is b by h multiplied by x so we can write b in terms of capital b so b can be written here as b can be written as so that one of the variable can be removed so that will be uh, b by 2h multiplied by x square b by 2h multiplied by x square this is the uh, area of this small triangle right small triangle this is the area now we want y bar y bar y bar is this distance basically the distance of centroid two centroids right distance of two centroids g and g, g dash this is y bar so this is basically y bar right y bar and we know y bar is 2h by 3 minus 2x by 3 so this is 2h by 3 minus 2x by 3 so this is the y bar 2h by 3 minus 2x by 3 now b already know, known to us b by h capital x so we can put here so put these values in one and we will get the final result put in one this equation we will get shear stress for a triangular section as f multiplied by a that is b by 2h multiplied x square multiplied by y, y bar y bar is 2h by 3 minus 2x by 3 divided by i i is the moment of ratio of triangle b b is b b b is b by h x b by h multiplied by x solve it and you will get the shear stress distribution for a triangular section right and solving it you will get f by 3i you will solve it and you will finally get f by 3i multiplied by hx minus x square hx minus x square so this is the shear stress distribution this is the shear stress distribution f by 3i hx minus x square where x is taken from the bottom fiber x is taken from the bottom fiber right so this is a parabolic distribution parabolic distribution so this is a parabolic distribution of the shear stress right now when x is 0 x is 0 means outer fiber because now x is taken from the outer fiber when x is 0 x equal to 0 shear stress put here value of x you will get shear stress 0 so shear stress will be 0 right and this fiber this fiber the bottom fiber where x is equal to h for bottom fiber when x equal to h shear stress put here x equal to h h square minus h square shear stress is again 0 so shear stress is 0 at the outer fibers so at two fibers outer fibers shear stress is 0 so if i draw the shear stress distribution on this section shear stress is 0 at this point and shear stress is 0 at this point right shear stress is 0 at both the points right so this dot i have written that this is the zero stress value right tau is 0 here at two fibers at two outer fibers top and bottom shear stress is 0 x is equal to 0 shear stress is 0 put here x equal to h put here you will get shear stress 0 right but what is tau max where is the tau max tau max lying so tau max is lying where d tau by dx will be equal to 0 you know the definition of tau max so for tau max everything maxima or minima the differentiation of that quantity with respect to the variable should be equal to 0 right this is the condition for maxima or minima so differentiate it you will get the maximum shear stress the uh, position where will be there x will be uh, maximum right 
shear stress will be maximum. So put here, you will get d tau by dx that will be equal to uh, f by 3i h minus 2x will be equal to 0. So from here, from here you will get x equal to h by 2, x equal to h by 2. So shear stress is maximum at x equal to h by 2. So shear stress is maximum at center of this, not on the neutral axis, shear stress is not maximum at neutral axis, but at the center at h by 2 of this triangle. So this center, at this center, the shear stress is maximum. So you will get this type of parabolic curve because the curve is parabola, parabolic curve like this, right? And this is tau max. This is tau max, maximum shear stress. So maximum shear stress lies at the center, at the center and not at the neutral axis, not at the neutral axis. Shear, maximum shear stress is not lying here, but lying at the center, right? Right. So at x equal to h by 2, the shear stress is maximum. But what is the value of shear, maximum shear stress? What is the value of maximum shear stress? How can we find out? Put the value of x equal to h by 2 in this equation. Suppose this equation is number 2. So put in 2. Equation number 2. Put this in equation number 2. x equal to h by 2. Put here h by 2. Uh, h by 2. What you will get? Final result I am writing here. Fh square by 12i. So tau max will be equal to Fh square by 12i. This is the maximum shear stress. Maximum shear stress. This value, this value tau max value which is at the center of this triangle is Fh square by 12i. This is put here, right? x equal to h by 2 in the shear stress equation. So we have obtained the shear stress distribution which is parabolic distribution. We have obtained the point where the shear stress is maximum that is h by 2 half of the triangle height at the center of the triangle not at the neutral axis but at the center and we have obtained the maximum shear stress for this triangle that is fh square by 12i right. This thing we have obtained. Now we want to find out the relation between tau max and tau average. What is the average shear stress and what is the relation between tau max and tau average? So how can we find out the relation between tau max and tau average? Now what is tau average? What is tau average? Tau average is the shear force per unit area, area of the triangle. And what is area of the triangle? That is half multiplied by base multiplied by height total area of the triangle so that will be 2f by bh this is shear force this is shear average shear stress 2f by bh and maximum shear stress is given to us f h square by 12i so tau max is we have already derived that this is given by f h square by 12i where i is i is the moment of inertia of triangle and that is what is that about neutral axis that is bh cube by 36, right? You should remember that uh, moment of inertia of triangle is bh cube by 36. So that will be f h square by 12 multiplied by bh cube by 36. bh cube by moment of inertia of triangle about neutral axis, right? So from here, what we are getting is that it will be equal to 3 f upon bh. So this is tau max. Tau max is 3f by bh and tau average is uh, this, right? So what is relation between this, right? Suppose this is 3 and this is 4. So what is relation between this? Or 3 divided by 4, what we are getting? Or 4 divided by 3, so that tau max is higher. So 4 divided by 3. The equation number 4 divided by equation number 3, what we are getting is tau max by tau average will be equal to 3f by bh divided by 2f by bh, 2f by bh. So these things are cancelled out, you will get 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5, right. So tau max is again as similar to rectangle, rectangular section, it is 1.5 times the 
tau average. So this another result can be obtained from the uh, triangular section. So in triangular section, the shear stress is maximum at the outer periphery and it is 1.5 times higher compared to the tau average and here somewhere there will be tau average which is uniform, assumed uniform, right? So this is how we can obtain the shear stress distribution in a triangular section.